With warmer weather a few weeks away, it's time to start pulling out all of your spring and summer clothes. During the pandemic, I lived in probably five outfits throughout all four seasons, so my closet remained relatively stable. However, I am beginning to downsize, so I added a few more things onto my Poshmark, which I'll link below. Here's to actually being able to see what I own and wear everything at least once this year. That was a bit of a whirlwind digression, so back to scheduled programming. As the temperature begins to rise, I wanted to create a video demonstrating some old money summer outfits I plan on trying out. I went for a very neutral palette centered around a few key pieces. If you're also a Francophile, you'll see that these outfits translate very well to my French fashion lovers. Let me know which one of these outfits is your favorite. I also plan on posting these outfits on Instagram when I'm out and about in reality, so don't forget to check out my Instagram and please don't forget to subscribe. For this first outfit, I wanted to create a summer appropriate rendition of an old money outfit you've probably seen in my previous old money videos. This outfit features a lightweight linen collar button up top as well as some high waisted cream shorts. I played on the preppy aspect of this and layered on a wool blazer just for those cooler nights. There's something that screams old money about having a shirt over your shoulders. For this particular outfit, I kept it simple with a black and white palette, but I wanted a contrast, so I went with a pop of navy blue and cream stripes over my shoulders. A simple way to recreate that old money summer look is with a Lacoste polo, or rather any polo. Instead of opting for the typical short sleeve version, I went for the three quarter sleeves. Again, I wanted to keep it very simple, so I went with a black polo with a white contrast on the collar and some cream high waisted shorts. Speaking of Lacoste, they make some excellent sweaters. This v neck sweater has a diamond pattern that is a very zoomed in version of an argyle pattern. And that's one of the patterns that's typically associated with old money. Since this is a summer lookbook, I wanted to keep it light. So instead of pairing this with some black pants, I paired it with my white cigarette pants. If you're not a fan of shorts, but you still want that preppy summer look, you can opt for some cigarette pants. The top portion of this outfit is an exact replica of the first outfit. However, instead of shorts, I opted for some ankle cigarette pants. This is a more mature version, but I actually prefer it. If you don't have any trouser-like pants, this also pairs really well with white jeans. Continuing with white bottoms, I love these pleated culottes. It sways with the wind and whenever I take a step. Here, I paired it with a simple navy blue and white striped sweater along with my wool blazer. The stripes yell yacht club, but it honestly works for so many different events and occasions. For your cooler daytime outings where a jacket really isn't possible to wear, opt for something over your shoulders. As you can tell by now, I'm trying to create a summery old money look that you can recreate with just a few items. This outfit seems really posh and I would wear it out to lunch or for a day of shopping. I've actually worn this look when I was in Europe, so it works just as well for travel. If you're looking to step away from simple looks such as collar button-ups or a t-shirt or even sweater, you can try pairing your outfits with a vest or waistcoat. This ivory number is from Reese and it has a bow tie at the waist, so it really accentuates your figure. Sometimes an all-neutral outfit is just what you need and it could potentially keep you cooler on those warmer summer days. For here, I kept it neutral with a white collar top, my cream high-waisted shorts, and again, my cream and navy blue striped sweater over my shoulders. If you're not into the over-the-shoulders look, you can keep this outfit bare. This is another simple black and white outfit. However, this time instead of a collar button up, I paired it with a silk tank top. This works well for those excruciating humid days. Again, I am wearing shorts here, but you can easily swap these out for trousers, culottes, or even a skirt. 
Again, if you don't like the whole sweater of your shoulders look, you can forego that and opt for a jacket. This is an exact inverse of the previous outfit, so I have cream high-waisted shorts here along with a black tank top. This is one of those looks that can be easily replicated and it's void of labels so it really does scream old money, classy, and preppy school looks. Whether you're going to the farmer's market, shopping at a mall, or grabbing drinks with the girls, this is one of those easygoing outfits that works for all those events and occasions. I added my sweater thinking it would create more depth, but I wasn't really feeling it, so I decided to forego the sweater. The grit of old money is a tweed or boucle jacket. There are some nights where it gets pretty chilly in the summer, so having a tweed jacket in your repertoire is a must. I kept the base pretty simple and I didn't want it to be too noisy so the tweed jacket could stand out. If you want more tweed jacket ideas, I'll link them below and here on the screen. Paired with heels, this outfit can take you from day to night and it's appropriate for even those high class fancy settings. I would suggest keeping it neutral for those summer days and nights. This is a very similar outfit to one you've seen before and my recommendation is to just keep it simple. Mix and match colors that you typically see in old money lookbooks. That would be black and white, creams, ivories, and periwinkle blues. You really can't go wrong if you follow that color schema. This is a similar look to another outfit, so I'll zip through this. You've also already seen this look paired with the blue blazer or a striped sweater over my shoulders. So I'll just show you what it looks like here and zip through. I wanted to play with creams here, so I kept with a very neutral palette. If I were to wear this outside, I would accessorize with some gold dainty necklaces as well as some diamond earrings. This is something I will definitely take on my next trip. Again, for a pop of color, you can put a striped sweater over your shoulders or anything else. I know creams are hard to take care of and can get easily dirty, so an option for you may be some black shorts. If you're on the hunt for some old money looking shorts, go for some that are pleated, tapered, high-waisted, long, and not too short. These have been a great investment so far. I absolutely love cigarette pants and the first person I saw to pull it off so well was Audrey Hepburn followed by Jackie O. There's just something so exquisite about the cut and it really helps you stand out from the crowd. Here I kept it very classic and simple with a black tank top and white pants. If you're leaning more towards the preppy side of things, maybe you want to go for a mini pleated skirt. I would typically pair this skirt with an oversized sweater, but since I'm going for an old money look, I paired it here with a collar button-up white top along with a cream cardigan over my shoulders. This outfit appears like it belongs to a country club, especially if I paired it with a pearl necklace. Again, this is just what I had in my closet, but you could also pair this with a midi or maxi skirt. I feel like I've been neglecting dresses, so I'll incorporate some right now. It's a bit difficult to see now, but this is a vertical blue and white striped dress. I didn't want to pair this dress alone because it wouldn't produce that same preppy vibe. So here I paired it with my navy blue wool blazer. This outfit would also work equally well with something over your shoulders. That was a tad bit form fitting, so if you're into something that's more loose and baby doll style, this may be for you. I love how this dress sways in the wind and the fact that it's long sleeve and has a collar. The collar along with the linen shirt over my shoulders really adds to the preppy aesthetic. Here I paired the vertical blue and white striped dress you saw previously with a white button up collar top and again my striped sweater over my shoulders. I can see myself wearing this look with the roof down in a convertible and just enjoying the summer day. This is a great look for brunch or for picnics. You can also pair this with the blazer if it's a little chilly outside. 
this lookbook wouldn't be complete if I didn't have an all black outfit. Of course, I wanted to break it up a bit so I have my striped sweater over my shoulders. If I'm out for a casual day of exploring, I would pair this with sneakers. And if I'm going to lunch, I would pop on some heels and it would look just as elegant. Again, this is something similar you saw earlier, so I'll speed through this. Let me know which outfit was your favorite and if you plan on recreating or trying any of these looks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.